Hello everyone, today we will discuss a topic from geomorphology which is mechanism of seafloor spreading and the characteristics of the mid-Atlantic ridge. Now we will discuss this topic in detail. Before that, there has been lot of misconceptions that what all is there below the water. People have always wondered what is lurking under below the water. There are some misbeliefs, there are some faiths which give different different stories regarding the life below the water. However, in real life there is something going on under the ocean that is enormous, that is sometime insanely hot and that houses strange creatures that live in total darkness. These are mid-oceanic ridges. But the question is how they are formed and what is the mechanism for that. Now we will discuss in detail about the mechanism of seafloor spreading and how the ridges are being formed. In the given figure, figure A and figure B, in figure A, hot mental rocks rises due to high convection in the asthenosphere. These rising hot mental rocks will get accumulated at the bottom of the lithosphere and a melt will be formed there with high temperature. The low pressure conditions will prevail and lithosphere will be continuously melting. The thickness of lithosphere will increase and magma will get away to enter into the crust. Thus, this rise in magma will enter into the magma chamber, there into the crust and vertically will get injected as your dikes. It will break the crust into two parts and the crust will move apart as per the given figure. In the figure A, it is reflecting as this magma reaches to lithosphere, it is creating a fault making that plates to break away. This lava will erupt onto the ocean floor, thus adding to the new crust. With time, the plates will move apart. The movement of these plates is called as sea floor spreading. They will later on cool and with time they will thicken. This is the mechanism of sea floor spreading. Now, what this sea floor spreading helps us in understanding? This sea floor spreading helps us in understanding that not only ocean floor is moving, however, continents are also moving. under the influence of this force. Now, we will discuss about in detail what seafloor spreading process is and how it results into the formation of mid-oceanic ridges. In the given figure, if we see, there is a magma chamber, if I call it asthenosphere. From this asthenosphere, hot molten rocks rise upward, that means convection is there. Under the influence of this convection, either I say it magma or we can say hot molten rocks, they will migrate upward and reach at the base of the lithospheric mantle. Thus, lithospheric plates will move apart because as soon as this magma will get accumulated here, the temperature will increase and the lithosphere will begin to melt. Thus, these lithospheric plates will stretch apart. Because of the convection in the mantle and the slab pull at the distance margin of the plate. And these two distant margins, the plate will start moving apart. Mantle rock migrate upward further. At the shallow depth and the low pressure conditions, magma will further form and rise upward because as soon as this magma will reach here, the temperature will increase, thus rocks will begin to melt at low pressure. New crust is formed by intruding magma and lava erupting on the ocean floor as the plates will move apart. Now, 
if you go with the process, in the process of formation of mid oceanic ridges, as tectonic plates pull apart, magma comes up from below to fill this gap. In fact, it is not all of sudden it comes out. Initially, the part of the lithosphere, including the part of the crust, they are in solid state. So, in fact, it sometimes pushes from the below first, forming a raised area and forcing more solid rocks above to crack apart. It means as soon as this magma is initially rising, it is not that it will directly come out, it will slightly result into the upliftment of this hard rock or hard part of the crust. As soon as this crust is getting uplifted, the rocks are creating a fracture here. You see these lines? So, the solid rock will get fractured. In this part of the cracks develop, the fracture develop there, it will break and as it breaks, the magma will rush out into the form of lava. And as the plates will move apart, in between the new crust is formed. This mechanism is called as seafloor spreading. Thus, mid oceanic ridges are formed where two tectonic plates are spreading apart. And this mechanism already discussed is called as seafloor spreading. And tectonic plates are large pieces of crust, or we can call them hard lithospheric slab. Hard lithospheric slabs, which are continental crust and oceanic crust. These lithospheric slabs can move in different ways. Either they can converge. Either they can diverge, either there will be transformative movement. Now, the case which we are studying, this is the case of divergence, in which the plates are breaking apart and the magma is reaching to the earth's surface, that is on the oceanic crust and the new part of the crust is being created there. The part from where this magma is reaching to the earth's surface, this is called as ridge. The seafloor spreading or we can say the divergence of the plate on an average is 3 to 10 centimeter per year. Thus, this movement is very slow and time to time as the plate spread, the new crust is formed and the ridge is developing. This was the mechanism. As these cracks are developed, seen in the figure, the lava in the form of the magma will reach to the surface, thus the new rock that forms from the molten rock, this is the molten rock, this part, is usually your basaltic in nature. Now, according to the given figure, if you see this is the mechanism of spreading ridges. which we discuss as a mechanism of sea flow spreading. Wherever there are weak zones in the ridges, they get divided into several fragments, if you see this part, this part and this part. So, thus these two divergent boundaries on the ridges in between can give rise to transformative movement along these faults. So, in the ridges, we will also experience transformative movement which can generate lot of earthquakes as per the given figure. In the given figure, if you see figure number 1, this is mid oceanic ridges and figure number 2, where the mid oceanic ridges have relatively weaker zones. So, where there are weaker areas in the crust along the mid oceanic ridges, the ridges can divide into segments called as fracture zones. These movements according to the given figure, in the figure 2 if you see is a transformative movement. Thus, in every divergence movement there will be the associated transformative movement. Thus, in every ridge there will be some weak fractures which will result into the transformative movement and they result into the earthquakes. Now, 
these mid oceanic ridges have two types of the spreading one is slow spreading another is quickly or fast spreading this quickly or fast spreading means there is more magma present beneath the ridge thus it means more volcanic eruption if more magma is there it is more hot more the temperature thus it will move very fast the fast spreading ridges have high fluidity and have smoother surface if you see in the figure b in the figure b this movement is very fast thus if you see fluidity is high and due to this high fluidity there you will find the smoother surface the other part is slow mid ocean ridge spreading the slow mid ocean ridge spreading offer results into cracks and the crust will begin to crumble it will leave behind ridges and valleys with rugged topography if you see in the given figure there is rugged topography if we take one of the example of mid atlantic ridges let us now discuss its characteristics now if we discuss about what a ridge is these are long linear chain of undersea mountain the process of formation we discussed here and in every ridge if there are several cracks developed this is the crust of the ridge and this is the bottom trough so every ridge have this several cracks in between this long linear chain of undersea mountain which is known as ridge one of the continuous ridges they are seen in atlantic ocean this atlantic ocean ridge extends from arctic in the north around your iceland and it extends towards south up to bovit island this ridge is in the southern atlantic ocean it extends from northern atlantic ocean towards your southern atlantic ocean here beginning from iceland and here in this part to bovit island mid atlantic ridge is an example of slow spreading ridge thus it is an example of slow spreading ridge on an average it moves 1 to 3 cm per year thus it has a larger rift valley which is as big as 10 to 20 km in width at the ridge crust if we talk about this ridge crust at the ridge crust it is having relief of 954 meters from the bottom it is having relief of 954 meters in the given figure it is an example of slow spreading ridge where you have series of rugged topographies and sometime the crust of the ridge especially in mid atlantic is having an relief of 954 meters these were the characteristics of the ridges and this was the process how sea flow spreading is seen but we should remember with every divergent boundary wherever there are ridges the faults and the fractures they will result into the transformative moment rest the whole detail which i have explained to you you can go through a small video in which the whole process is mentioned the video is taken from irris where they have explained very well about the whole mechanism so that you can have a clarity about this topic rest there are some images which will be reflecting on your screen the characteristic features of these rift valleys and these ridges are given you can make a note from that rest other part has been given in your model answers you can go through that part thank you